Um, now we take advantage of the wonderful supercharge of superchargefulness. We want to destroy all the windmills over here and push all the buttons. Because this warp challenge requires you to jump on of top of these things that are spinning too fast for you. So you have to destroy all the windmills. Destroy this one. Push the button in. And you're probably thinking, that's not too bad. Why, why is Demon Jester 44 so angry about this level? Well, because this next one requires you to do a blind charge over here, and then over here, and then I... Wow, I surprisingly got it. This is where the orb challenge is introduced, but uh, you need to power down that... Uh, power down this windmill first, because I don't think it's possible to jump on top. Actually, it might be. Um, if you guys actually have this game and want to prove it, that you can jump along these windmills, go ahead. Um, I'm not going to bother. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try. So yeah, it's it's probably possible, but I'm too lazy to actually time it. So I'm going to go destroy this windmill, and let's see how many attempts this takes me. If I get this on my first attempt, I'm going to be really surprised. Because I honestly don't remember the placement of this stupid windmill. Oh my- Oh, I was about to say I had it. I was like, oh my god, that's impossible. That's the first time I've ever gotten it on my first try, but no. No, I had to be a pixel off to the side, and then the game screws me over, and that was a terrible attempt. Take three. See, see why I hate this level? Supercharging is the most... Supercharging is the worst part about this game. Don't get me wrong, I love this game. Superchar they put too much of an emphasis on supercharging in this game, which really annoys me, because supercharging is my least favorite ability in this game, because it's so hard to control. Anyway, like this thingy was saying, we have to glide over to the gear grinder factory. And by doing so, he will give us a orb. And I know that there's a gem down there, so I'm going to go get it before I forget it. Because I would forget it. Where is Sparks pointing to now? Sparks, please tell me that there are gems that I'm not missing. Okay, he's saying that there's gems up there. Okay, we're good for now. So let's try this again without getting distracted by the shiny things on the ground. La 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 la. Okay, so glide over here. I mean, after you turn off the stupid, uh, super, uh, the, uh, after you destroy the windmills, this challenge isn't that hard. All you have to do is be precision jumping, which I have trouble with sometimes, but still, it's not that hard. Now, this thing looks flat when you're on top of it, but it actually has a, well, uh, bottom. Uh, I thought that was your design flaw, but whatever. I don't know what's over here. Is there anything over here? Probably not, because I'm over here. Because I spent... I don't... Yeah, this always confused me as a kid. I don't understand what the point of that was. There's absolutely nothing over there. No gems or anything. Um, here comes the hardest part of this challenge. You have to glide, and glide, and glide, and glide. And I don't know if those things are going about. I don't even bother testing it. And glide, and here we go. Warp. Byro, you've done well so far. You can have this little trinket for good luck. Now, here comes part two. We have to do even more gliding, which uh, leads us to the factory. Now, now um, we actually have to hover. I, don't, I didn't see what difficulty this one got, but it's not really that much worse. You just need to hover from now on. And then the end of this will get you another orb. So that's two orbs for basically one challenge. Like I said, the most challenging part is actually lining up the stupid windmills. I mean, the, some glides can be annoying, especially the ones near the end where there's stuff popping out and they come back in. And yeah. But for now, these ch jumps are pretty easy. Just glide. I thought I missed that one. Remember how I was saying we were coming back here and get these gems over there? Well, here we go. And I almost missed them. And I think this will give us our skill point by destroying this one. Yep, skill point. So if you ever see a random butterfly come out and you didn't kill a father, that's why you completed a skill point. Go figure. And I thought I missed that one. And, okay, we made it. And that's all 400 gems, and we're about to get the last and final orb. The switch to turn off the gear grind. Okay, so he's telling us that he's too afraid to go in here because it's awfully noisy. It isn't. And that's the orb. Thanks for shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want. 
And he gives us our third and final orb of the level, and we are done with Huracos forever. Thank God this doesn't have a ladder, because I really don't want to come back. Do 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 do. And we're just gonna exit the level. Um, now we have the final level of Summer Forest that we haven't explored, and it's Aquaria Towers. Um, it's going to be over here by the wall that we lowered in two videos, or three videos, or actually I don't know how many videos we are. Um, back when we paid money back to lower the gate, that's what it was. Over here. Um, this level is also annoying, but not as annoying as, well actually it could be more annoying than Huracos, because I've over-exaggerated Huracos. I used to hate Hurricos a lot more, and I thought it was a lot more difficult because of my memories, but it really isn't. This, uh, on the other hand, is really annoying. <laughs> How dare you torture the seahorses! So not only are these assholes back with the stupid- uh, I was back- I wasn't I was at, um, Ripple the Seahorse, I wasn't talking to you. Not only are these assholes back with the shock sticks, um, there's going to be sharks in this level. Yes, sharks that will attack you. And if- and you need to be really quick with the super flame to kill them, and they're spread throughout the level if you want all their gems. And a majority of the level is going to require you to kill these guys, so... The major, um, concept, the major, uh, gimmick of this level is these, um, switches which lower the water, which, uh, bring water into the level. Um, so, it's basically, it's not really a maze, but it's going to, you can't navigate most of the room unless you activate the water. And the enemies are easier to kill without the water in there, so, um, just fly to that. I mean, these crabs are a lot easier to kill when they're not swimming around. In the waters, in the waters, in Soviet Russia, water swim. Okay, that that was uncalled for. No more Soviet Russia jokes. Random one up over there. Random crabs. Random gems. Random everything in this game. Beep bop boo bop. That that was random too. Uh, I don't know why I'm so random right now. Um, 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 um over here. Yeah, see, these are the sharks. Don't even bother swimming down there because they will destroy you. Um, and you can't get anything in there without the super flame anyway. So we're going to come back after we killed enough enemies. Um, I don't understand the point of this. You can destroy it with a flame anyway, if it's underwater or not. So let's just activate this. Water! Huzzah! And it makes you wonder, um, how did the enemies actually cage up all the water in there anyway? I, I don't know. Just just some food for thought. I don't understand how the enemies are capable of putting an entire room of water up there. Up. Uh. I don't even know where the stupid uh, thing was. Where the drink, where the pipe was. That released all the water. Whatever. Uh, some gems over here, some gems over there, a random sheep. I, I like how the sheep have a. Have a. Ma uh, fish bowls on their head to prevent them from drowning underwater. Nice little touch by the game designers, I believe. Um, this, I don't, I don't understand what the point of this is. This, this is a stupid room full of stupid enemies for no reason. It's not that hard. And there's a random crab on the ceiling! It's doing the crab walk. It died. I'm so sorry. Spyro wanted crab cakes, so we got some. Money bags! Yay! Nice. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. Okay, so he you, he makes you pay him for lowering the gate to get to this level. Now he's paying. Now he's making you pay him a hundred gems to use his sub to survive. Money bags, I hate you. And I
and I was sort of hoping we were done with you for uh, Summer Force, but no, you have to make us pay you for every small task. Soon you're gonna make us pay you for breathing, aren't you? I wouldn't put it past you. Um, right there was a. Excuse me! I didn't. I might need to push the button, but whatever. Um, right, we were scripted to jump down. I had no control of what just happened over there. Except for me getting shocked, which was bull. Which was stupid. Um, okay, I need to try to fix. Why can't I hit the stupid gem basket thing? Uh, okay, over here. Another crab. And we are at the end of the level. Let's kill this sheep. As you can see, the super flame is open for use. We'll get over to that soon after we get our talisman. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. Aquaria Towers talisman. It's a conch! Yeah, a conch shell. Um... After you have all the talismans and you exit the level which you got your last talisman from, you'll be automatically warped over to the boss. Um, so we're not gonna leave now, not that we were ever left before, but um, before we get all the orbs and ge uh, gems that we could. Um, as you can see, we're back at the entrance of the level, and up there is all three orb challenges of this level, but right now I want to kill the sharks, possibly money bags for ripping us off, but we can't do that because money bags is an NPC, and NPCs don't die in this game. Okay, so you want to go over here, make sure the sharks don't see you, and destroy them. These guys actually count as enemies, surprisingly. And then, one more. I said one more. I said one more, thank you. And destroy this gem basket. Nice chunk of change over here. There's even more gems over at the other shark place where the sub was, so we're going to go get the super, more uh, super fame and go back. Go team, go. Am I going the right way? No, I'm going the right way. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Okay, um, I guess we're gonna go this way. Go back this way. I don't know what Joey's quicker, I'm just gonna go this way. Okay, here's the sub. So, yeah, this way it was quicker. Okay, uh, make sure, watch out for sharks, as usual. I'm going the wrong way. La 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 la. Demon Jester 44 is being stupid. Okay, destroy, 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 destroy. I don't know how many more sharks are left, but alright, uh, is that it? Please tell me that's it. Nope, there's more sharks, of course there is. One, two, please die, please die, please die. And okay, I think that's it for sharks. Um there's three more enemies as you can see. Those are for from an orb challenge. So we killed all the sharks, so now we can get all the gems over here. I mean, get head over to our magical orb challenges of magic rudeness. They're not that magical. The music in this level is very soft, but I like it. I like it nonetheless. So let's head over here and let's go up, up, and away into the magical blue void of magicalness. I need to stop saying everything magical because it isn't. It's just me being silly. Silly. Silly Demon Jester 44 is silly. Um, there's a glitch, as usual. There's like a glitch in 99% of this levels. Um, but this glitch is really weird. Um, I've never actually looked at it myself. I've only seen videos where, um, you get stuck if you swim too far and you end up hearing, um, uh, I believe it's voice recordings from the game. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not gonna talk to you yet. Watch send me all around the entire map going for your stupid children. So screw you. Let's get all the orbs that we can. We're gonna go talk to Hunter after I get all the gems out of here. Um, Sparks, tell me where the gems are. Sparks, tell me where the gems are. There we go. Thank good boy. Um, I'm missing a lot of gems. I hope. Oh, that's a nice chunk of change. 25, 10. There we go. Now we're only missing 51. And then there's a bunch up here. There's another 25, so now we're missing... 1995! Go team! Um, we're missing... 26. I should be able to do basic math without looking. Um, where are you pointing me to, Sparks? Please don't tell me to go back down. Don't tell me to go back down. Where are you pointing? Oh, there you go. Now where are you pointing? You can't go over there, Sparks. Where are you pointing to? Are you telling me to go down? 
Where are you pointing to? I don't understand you, Sparks. Oh. Um. I don't know where you're pointing to. Forget you, Sparks. Forget you.